Hi guys, it's Jason Gardner, guitar teacher with Bring the Music to You, the Spellage Provider of In-Home Music Lessons. Uh, today I have a quick reminder video for you. Uh, for those of you who have been learning the, uh, the blues in the key of A, the basic uh, first version of blues that a lot of us play. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get that swing feel again real quick that we typically use. And then the whole progression that we call the uh, 12 bar blues. So first of all, the swing feel. Now remember we're playing the uh, second fret of the D string for the very first chord we play, plus the open A string. Second fret of the fourth string, open fifth string, right? So we're playing two strings. It should sound like that. And then halfway through, on every other beat, we move our uh, third finger up to the uh, fourth fret of the uh, of the D string or the fourth string while still playing the fifth string so we get that kind of sound. So we get that chord, then we get that chord. Now what we're going to be doing is on beat one we'll be playing this chord, beat two we'll be playing that chord, beat three this chord, beat four that. Now right before each new chord or each new beat what we're going to do is real quick cram in the previous chord one more time that creates that swing feel. We get this chord, we're getting ready to switch to the next chord, but real quick I hit that one chord one more time. Once again. Like that, so rather than going and then on my way back to the previous chord, the second fret, I'm going to do the same thing, so I'll, be, I'll play this like that total it sounds like this then. I can count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and if I play the very first chord both when I say one and then also when I say three, and then play the next chord when I say one again, and then when I say three, keep doing that, That'll give me this swing feel. So, one, two, three, 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 one, two, Okay, it's kind of a swinger, or a swing kind of blues feel. I'm going to uh, do that even slower so that you can really see what I'm doing here. One, two, three, one. That's the swing feel. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to play this first chord I was just now playing, we're going to call it our A chord. We'll call it A5 and A6, but basically you can just call it an A chord. Okay. We're going to play four bars of that. Okay, when I say four bars, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to four, or do four beats, and that's one bar. And then I'm going to do another four beats, and that'll be two bars. Another four beats, that'll be three bars, and another four beats, and that'll be four bars. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, a uh, way I can keep track of that for myself is I can say one at the beginning of the first measure, two at the beginning of the second measure, three at the beginning of the next measure, and then four at the next. And then that really helps me to keep track. Let me show you what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, One time I was teaching my little nephew how to play this and I asked him what he really liked to eat, a couple things. He said he likes ice cream cones a lot, okay? So the way I had him count this, and this could be fun for you too, one ice cream cone, two ice cream cones, three 
ice cream cones or ice cream cones. Okay, it's another way of just counting out four measures. Then I can go to this to the uh, D string open and the second fret of the G string. And do the same sort of maneuver where I keep adding my third finger to the G string and then back off. And I'm only going to do two measures of that. So one ice cream cone, two ice cream cones, and then I'm going to go back to the A, the open A in the second fret. Of the one ice cream cone, two ice. I'm going to do the thickest two strings. So my first finger is on the second fret of the A string. And I've got the open E. I'm only going to do one measure of that. One, ice, ring, cone. Back to the middle two strings, open D, right? One, ice, ring, cone. Back to the original A, five. One, ice, ring, cone. And then back to the E string, open, or the thickest two strings. One, Yeah, this is the most basic version of the blues. The blues can get really altered up a lot. Okay, I'm just going to play it for you once straight through. I'm going to do four bars of A, two bars of D, two bars of A, one bar of E, one bar of D, one bar of A, one bar of E. Here we go. basics of it. Okay. Later on, if you guys want to get into soloing, check out our videos on pentatonic scales and blues scales, and in particular in the key of A minor. All right. But have fun. Keep practicing that. I'm looking forward to jamming with you some more. I'll talk to you later. Bye.